Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Baker and welcome to This Is What I'm Talking About. Today I'm talking about fajitas. Sherry Wallace Baker of Lucas, Ohio has requested my spin on fajitas, so here we go Sherry. Hope you're going to enjoy it. I think you're actually going to like this. Fajitas come in all different shapes, sizes. You can use uh, pork, you can use beef, you can use chicken, you can use seafood, you can do any variety of things. Today I'm going to go with shrimp and pork. And I have chopped up about a half of a pork steak here. We're going to make our marinade. We'll start that out. Put it in a big bowl here. And I've got probably a pound of shrimp. Decided to go with the combo this time. Okay, to that, we're going to add salt. A generous, generous helping of salt here. some ground cumin. And some chili powder. Don't want to do a whole lot of everything, just enough to give it some flavor. Some garlic powder. This is going to be really good. A lot of times your fajita recipes you find it'll say you know saute some peppers and onions and throw in a pack of fajita mix. Nah, you know we're not going to do that. We're also going to do the juice of a lime here. This is not a really real juicy lime. Hopefully the other half is a little better. Kind of disappointed with that. There's not a lot of juice in this line. That's okay. And also some fresh chopped oregano out of my garden this morning. I do have fresh herbs. We're just going to mix all that together. Be some good stuff. Set that aside, let it marinate for a few minutes. Meanwhile, I have a pan going here. Put a little oil here, a little vegetable oil. And to that, normally I would take fresh vegetables out of my garden, however, my peppers and onions are not quite ready, but last year I had a bountiful harvest, so I ended up picking uh, peppers, onions, and some broccoli, chopped them up, put them in bags, and froze them. That just happens to be what I'm going to be using now. Fresh broccoli. Onions, say fresh, they were fresh frozen. And bell peppers. I'm making a bunch here because I'm I'm planning on having lunches for for dinners, I should say, for a couple nights here. You can let these down for a few minutes. Like I say, normally, you know, you throw in a pack of fajita mix and people think, hey, that's great, and it tastes good, but this with all of our fresh ingredients is going to taste so much better, Sherry. You're really going to enjoy it. You're better off doing all this in a cast iron skillet. I'll show you why later. It's the wow factor. I've also got a small plate made up here of the accoutrements that we're going to add to our fajitas. I've got some shredded jack cheese, some fresh jalapeno, or some fresh uh, avocado slices, and some sour cream. And that's what we will add to our fajitas at the end. Not to the end, after we get it to the table, I should say. 
I probably actually have more stuff in here than I realized, but okay. It'll cook down. <clears throat> Gorgeous day out here on the left coast today. It's about not quite 11.30 right now and it's 80 degrees. Beautiful. Let me get the tortillas. never done broccoli and fajitas before, but I don't know why not. As long as you got the onions and the bell peppers with it, I think it'll taste pretty darn good. I'm going to put a little bit of salt and pepper with this while we're cooking it down here. I like a lot of pepper. Like I said, you want the you want the cast iron for the wild factor, and I'll show you what I mean when we're going. Using the uncooked tortillas again. A couple more recipe ideas coming. We'll have uh, got some steak and squash coming uh, in a couple weeks. I'm also going to do some deep fried. Also got a really good barbecue pork recipe I just saw. I'll be doing that in a couple weeks. Keep sending me the recipe ideas though, folks. I love just taking the idea of somebody saying, hey, do a, do a fajita recipe and do your own spin on it. I've, I like to research it and look, uh, look up online, get some different recipe ideas, and then add my own stuff to it. Just fun for me. Just enjoy messing around in the kitchen. Not a chef by any means, but so far things are coming out good. I haven't had many complaints. All right, these tortillas in. Like I say, use the uncooked tortillas. They're so much better. Okay, just a little bit more oil for this. Good sizzle. Just cook it down just a little bit. Get the tortillas going. We'll get this cooked down a little bit more. We'll add the we'll add the pork and the shrimp to it. Got to turn my smoke alarm off again. I think it's a super sensitive. The least amount of smoke sets that thing off. Punch the air. Holes in the tortillas there. Ooh. 
pretty good. I'm making two of them up because I'm going to eat two. Let me know how you like these videos, folks. Oh, I've got a lot of a lot of quiet time in this one. I wasn't thinking about that when I first came up with this recipe. You should probably get tired of hearing me talk anyway. Alright, we are about ready to add our pork and shrimp. are ready. Right, let's add some stuff. We've got our main ingredients. Nice and marinating. For that fresh oregano. Mm, you just smell it. Cook for a couple minutes here. I'll put a little bit more broccoli in there than I actually wanted. It's not allowing me to get the meat down in there and get it well done. So I'm going to move some of the stuff over. Try to get some of this meat done. Smelling mighty fine, folks. Too smart putting it on a hot burner there. Actually, this meat is getting done better than I thought it would. Get back in there. Oh Sherry, you want to put this one together? You're gonna, you're gonna be amazing, your friends, your family. This is gonna be the best tasting fajita you've ever had. And I think, yeah, just pretty darn much supposed to be done here. Another minute or so, let the, let the meat and the shrimp. Make sure they're done. We're looking pretty good. You don't want the shrimp overdone. You just want it to turn pink. If you're overdone, it's going to be tough. Same thing with the pork, actually. You don't want pork overdone either. I said this before, you can, nowadays, you can do pork medium rare. Or at least medium. Doesn't have to be well done like it used to have to be in the past. Processing methods are so much better now. Now, for the reason you actually want to do this on a cast iron is because this is how you serve it at the table. And you want that baby popping. Do that sizzling and crackling. That's what you want. That's what you want at your table. So we're going to give it a shot here. 
and I've made a total mess. We are going to shovel on some stuff here. Now that I'm dropping it all over the place, the shrimp and some pork. And a little shredded cheese. A couple slices of avocado. A little bit of sour cream. Let's see if I can possibly wrap this dude up without making a total mess. Not too bad. Coming out the top, but that's all right. Gonna do a second one here. Hopefully, I'm not running this thing too long. Oh yeah, shredded cheese, avocado slices. Sour cream. And again, try to roll it without, without making a mess. And also, I don't know if you'd be able to see that good enough or not, but we got some good shrimp and pork fajitas. So Sherry, I hope you enjoyed that. Hope you make it for your friends and family. Impress them a little bit. Like I said, keep sending recipes, folks. Laissez les bon temps brûler. Let the good times roll. Who's getting ready to eat some fajitas? This guy. That's what I'm talking about.